Welcome to the learning platform of the LIFE project. LIFE is an Erasmus initiative addressed to, uh, as the uh, acronym stands, uh, learning interculturality uh, from religion. And the project is based on uh, teaching and uh, learning religion in primary school. And this platform will contain some uh, opportunities, some uh, approaches, uh, some uh, tools for supporting the teachers that are involved in teaching and learning religion in uh, developing a proper educative uh, strategies in uh, a learning uh, a new context that is mostly represented by the presence of uh, uh, different uh, cultural and uh, religious approaches. And uh, the main point of the, the output, the, the main output of the, of the project that's represented by the model, the pedagogical model, is uh, uh, to consider that uh, this new environment is something that we can uh, uh, appreciate as something positive for uh, deepening the knowledge of our uh, students about the consistence and the beliefs that are practiced by other uh, students and to understand better their uh, cultural and uh, religious background. Uh, having uh, this idea that in general terms when we speak about religion we speak about something that is uh, strictly related to the life of the people and uh, uh, naturally if uh, we consider that we dedicate this uh, uh, focus on the religion on teaching religion on supporting the actual the educative action related to teaching religion uh, we consider as a consortium that uh, this is very important for uh, the uh, cultural and uh, personal development of the students and uh, is it very important if something is changing and uh, we have to take into account the new context, the new environment, and we have to support the teachers to uh, mature a new uh, attitude, a new approach. And uh, uh, I'm Fabrizio Boldrini, I introduce myself, I'm the coordinator of the project and I represent here the Montesca Foundation, that is a uh, uh, the project leader of the uh, project. What uh, we uh, consider as a religion in this specific context is uh, what we can take from the Oxford Dictionary, that is a belief in and a worship of a superhuman controlling power. This is the definition of the Oxford Dictionary, especially a personal god or gods. This is what we believe can be defined religion. Uh, indeed, in uh, most uh, of the uh, languages in the world, we have this this word. We have something that can be uh, considered as uh, what in English, in Italian, Spanish, or in uh, the northern and western uh, languages we consider religion. I don't want to say the same meaning, but uh, sometimes, uh, for instance, in Sanskrit, uh, it, this word exists, uh, but uh, the meaning is a bit, a bit different. So, uh, in uh, specifically in Sanskrit, it uh, means uh, low also. Uh, that for focusing on the fact that uh, most uh, uh, of the languages have this word, but uh, to understand really, or to better understand the content of the cultural and the uh, anthropic content of this world, we have to uh, also take into account the context, and this is uh, the uh, main aim of this project, of the model, uh, that is based on the conviction that uh, we have to teach religion. And teaching religion in uh, primary, in secondary school is very important and because 
because there are several compelling reasons to do that for teaching religions in the different context of uh, uh, of uh, the educative system. We can have different approaches, but uh, just to uh, say that our approach uh, take, take, takes into account that the teaching religion is not just teaching the history of religions or the cultural background of the religions, but teaching religions means to teach religion, which I mean uh, the content in a spiritual way and also in cultural way of the beliefs and uh, of the worship of the people, including the rites, including the um, uh, basic meaning of uh, uh, the uh, different uh, uh, cultural and uh, spiritual uh, points. Um, religions and belief uh, are forces that uh, empower the uh, individuals and, uh, and also are part of the individuals. It's not our project does not consider that this is something that our project intends to propose, but uh, just that this is something that are uh, so a matter of fact. So in the, in the uh, cultural and spiritual contents of the people, we find usually this kind of approach. That is something different from uh, uh, taking into account their spirituality as uh, something different because uh, is uh, obeying, uh, uh, having a strong reference uh, in the uh, ethic side, by the, by the ethic side and also by the personal side, to a, a list of uh, beliefs, rules, ethic uh, uh, commandments and, and also cultural uh, attitudes. Um, I, we think that uh, teaching religions develops what we uh, uh, consider a, a spiritual, natural activity of the people. So it's very important not just to teach religion, that's very important, but also to promote the uh, better knowledge of the religions of the others. And this, because we take into account that uh, in this actual context, we have people, students that are part of different uh, religions, uh, beliefs, uh, and uh, knowing uh, each other is very important for developing a good sense of uh, cooperation and, uh, and a good way of living together. And uh, this is uh, the, the, the the nature itself, I can say, of the religion. Because religion means, from the Latin, the, the, the Western world means religare. Other than this, uh, naturally, we have also uh, to consider, and this is, uh, I think, one of these points we uh, have in our project uh, background uh, that um, most of the uh, artistic and cultural expressions uh, of the people are uh, linked, uh, related or based on uh, religious uh, expressions. Uh, and this is very important for considering the opportunity or the need to teach religion in primary and secondary schools. But to take a, again a point I have already presented is someone told that it's just to uh, having a knowledge of geography basing the knowledge in just a, a, a list or a, uh, memorize the name of capitals or towns or lakes or rivers uh, without knowing what is under the uh, living, the daily living of the people that live in the, in the countries. So uh, if uh, 
we would like to teach religion, we have to take into account that what is very relevant for us is what is the base of the inner uh, dimension of the people. So it's not just to memorize some rites or uh, gods or uh, spiritual uh, conventions, uh, but just to say that it's this part of the inner expression of people. So going a, a bit uh, deeper uh, towards the authentic knowledge of, uh, of what the people uh, believe and express with their religion. Uh, our model also takes into account that, apart of it, religion is also uh, appears, at least, as one of the most relevant conflictual factors in the world. Uh, in comprehension and uh, uh, different uh, approaches to the interpretation of the world also can determine the different and conflictual reactions. And uh, this is very important for the model that is based in the reciprocal, reciprocal acceptance of the proper and inner dimension, spiritual and religious dimension. Um, so basically, the life model represents an idea of teaching religions that is influenced by the fourth of understanding each other and uh, an effort to enhance the reciprocal comprehension. And so, uh, considering the religion as uh, something that is uh, related to the effort to understand the real, the role of the, of the man, the human being in the universe, and uh, is a, a, something that lets the people to uh, try to uh, give answers, to find answers for the basic questions that people have being in this world, in this life. I think it's very important also that our model can be contrib a contribution, can represent a contribution to developing also a critical and positive approach to the uh, unknown questions of the humanity. So as a, uh, also a contribution to have a different attitude towards uh, uh, the, the meaning, the basic meaning of the life. And uh, finally, uh, this method is based on a critical approach. And we decided to create a framework that fundamentally is based on an inquiry uh, approach. Inquiry means in this context to make the people, the students in particular, students and the teachers, able to try to find answers to specific and very important questions related not just to a specific side of the life, but uh, are, are related to the life uh, as a whole concept, as a whole, as a whole uh, background uh, that gives meaning uh, to the presence itself of the human being in this world. And so the inquiry is very important also for the other uh, aspect of the life, be able to find answer, even if the answer is not uh, specific and uh, already determined. So can, uh, yeah, the answer can come, or the attempt of the answer can, can come after a deep discussion, deep analysis. And this can uh, get uh, the people, the students, uh, accustomed to try uh, to go through the personal conviction as a result of a very important uh, path.
This is an educative path, but also a personal and ethic path. Um, for this reason, we will, uh, <coughs> as in many other states, that this method will be based on constructivist, on what is called as constructivist approach. Uh, you will find some contribution to uh, discover better what we can mean uh, with uh, a constructivistic uh, reference, but uh, in general what I can say, anticipating the rest of the material we will, uh, can explore, if you like, uh, is uh, something that is, uh, is considered the educative knowledge as a circular process, but at the very center of this process we put uh, the student, his uh, her life uh, and the personal uh, dimension, also considering the differences the students can have and also the differences in their expression, try, uh, trying to transform uh, this potentially conflictual uh, dimension in positive and reciprocal understanding.